Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh brothers and sisters uh, once again we will come you to uh, this um, another program that we recently uh, visited that um, uh, old man from Ch from the copper belt uh, once again we uh, head into uh, visit a certain brother of ours uh, by the name of uh, brother Zakaria uh, who recently came out from uh, the Kamfinsa Correctional Facility uh, we happened to have uh, prayed with uh, this uh, brother in the correction facility uh, the last Eid uh, uh, al prayers, the one we uh, recently had from the just ended Ramadan. So we met this brother uh, after Juma prayers yesterday, and actually is even the one who recognized us. So we scheduled to um, uh, visit him today and uh, have a chat with him uh, his uh, his story and um, uh, lesson that we can have uh, from his story so right now we are heading to uh, Kapisha where this uh, brother stays so uh, come with us and meet this brother Jazakumullah Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. 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 Wa Okay, so uh, tell us who is this uh, Zakaria? Uh, Zakaria is me, myself. Mm, uh, mashallah. I'm Zakaria Mwanza. Mashallah. Yeah, I born here in Chingora. Mm. I shifted to Kitwe. Mm. I stayed in Kitwe about 15 years. Mm. Yeah. Then I came back to Kitwe. To Chingora. I came back to, to Chingora. Chingora. Okay. okay. I started doing business mm. and business. And then after that, uh, I find myself in prison. Okay, okay. So, um, has the Copperboard Muslim Ministry got this uh, prison visiting program? And um, um, uh, the last one we had, we visited Kankinsa Prison, which is the correctional facility. And uh, we happened to, to be with you during the last Eid uh, al-Fitri, together with the one that we prayed uh, together with uh, Salat al -Juma. So, how was your feeling about that event? Yeah, that event, I feel, I, uh, I was very happy uh, mm, to sure. see you mm. came in prison mm. to have you, uh, to pray with you with Mbaraka mm. and in Juma. Okay, so, sure. it's not easy to prepare that you pray for my treatment of the paper of Chapamu. So, I'm very happy, inshallah, and then May highly appreciate you. Amen. Amen. So, Brother Zakaria, now tell us, how did you find yourself uh, in, the, in the prison? After mm -hmm. the first when I came back to Chingola, mm -hmm. uh, I, was, uh, I was doing business. Business. Uh, business. business. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, after that, my friend came to me mm -hmm. and he introduced me to uh, my Joanna business. Marijuana business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I started selling marijuana and enjoying around money. Mm -hmm. Then after that, I find myself in prison. Mm -hmm. Okay, which, which prison was that? Uh, Chingora prison. Okay. Yes, I, I was caught in the project when she died. I was in Kachawa and Tora for Maseozi. Maseozi was in Tora court. Then I was sentenced to four months. Four months. Prison. Okay. Okay, so from from that four months, um, uh, did you did you have any lesson from from that? Yes, I learned a lesson, but uh, the lesson was not positive. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And then after that, what happened? Yeah, after that, I came back. When I finished four months, mm-hmm. I came back and started doing business. So you continued the same business? Yes, but I was continuing with a lot of business. Okay, mashallah. Yeah, and then the same guy, my friend, mm-hmm. then he came back to me. The same one who introduced you to the, the marijuana the business? Marijuana, yeah, okay. and then he came back to me and told me, you, you see, uh, this time we have experience, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce you about the other business hmm. and introduce me about the cocaine business. Cocaine? Yes. Subhanallah. Yeah, and then I started selling cocaine mm-hmm. and enjoying a lot of money. Mm. Yeah, after that, mm. and then I was caught again. Mm. Yeah, with the, the same uh, cocaine. Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, they caught you with cocaine. Yeah, with mm. cocaine. Mm. Yeah. And then they, they, they took me to mm, uh, they got, they got police. They got you to the police, yes. Yeah, mm. police station. Mm. After that, they took me to court. Mm. After that, and then I was sentenced to 15 years. 15 years? Yes. That was with hard labor? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then they took me to Francisca mm. prison. Mm. Yeah. And then, Okay. Yeah. So um, after having served both that four months and the fifteen years, uh, which is uh, uh, fifteen years four months, what uh, is your lesson after that? What lesson you learn from that? From having served the fifteen years and the four months, did you have any lesson? Yes, uh, but uh, I learned the lesson mm-hmm. uh, because uh, the time I was arrested, I was very young, mm-hmm. and. Uh, uh, I left my wife and my children. Mm. Uh, the time was, uh, I was uh, coming back, I found my children and my wife. Mm-hmm. Uh, grown up, uh, my first boy mm. uh, is a great job. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, and then uh, the, the second one is in the seven, mm-hmm. other one is in the four. Mm. Yeah, and then, uh, uh, I lost my wife. He married to another, another man. Okay. Shukran for that emotional story, brother. So how is how is life in the prison? Yeah, the life in prison is very difficult to mm. watch Muslim, mm. even to non Muslim. Yeah. yeah. Generally, generally, General. life in the prison is not yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, okay. So then, uh, from from the from, from the time that you spent in the prison, how is the uh, Muslim brotherhood in the prison? Yeah, uh, the Muslim Yes, they are. Uh, uh, I have uh, uh, the challenges mm. uh, because uh, the time I want to press a lot, it's too difficult. Mm. Uh, because uh, when you start, uh, when you want to make you do, the whole thing they will be a to more than that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah so they will be a to do, and then we'll hang out with the toilet, see what we'll hang out with. Mm-hmm. And then the time you want to press a lot, mm. the bosses came and pick you to play a mukubomba, and then mm. they took a car to remove prison. Mm-hmm. Now. Okay, with the, with, the, with the experience that you, you had in the, in the prison, what advice would you give to the Muslim organizations and uh, Muslim individuals as well, in regards to the, the Muslim brothers and sisters in the in the prison. What advice would you would you give? Uh, my advice I can give to Muslim and non-Muslim is mm. to uh, to visit the Muslim who is in prison. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so that uh, to give him food to mm. start and the clothes mm. and the matters again are in a different way. Then no proper so that. Uh, it will be a better citizen mm. when they coming out from mm. that prison. Because the people the Muslim, the people who are Muslim, the people who are Muslim, the so that when you come out, you become a better Muslim, you are a person in the society. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. inshallah. So then, um, uh, what, what advice can you also give to the Muslims out there and also the, the general public concerning crime yeah. since you, you passed through this experience? Yeah. My advice I can give to Muslims and non Muslims is the outside. Mm. Uh, 
we stay away from crime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. because uh, that means they want us to be a better citizen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. and then when we start to make you crime, mm -hmm. we still choose from faith. Exactly. And then the government came and took us to jail. Mm -hmm. So we have to, to change it. We have to change the tough man, tough man, other people. So we have to. So after having served that uh, sentence, 15 years, four months wow. uh, together, do you have any regret for the mistake that you, you made? Yes, uh, I regret a lot. The time I was in prison, mm -hmm. uh, I lost the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I lost the uh, a lot of things. Even mm -hmm. uh, my wife, mm -hmm. she's married to another. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. But she was feeling perverted. Yes, the baby has his turn. Yeah, and I come to blame her now because we the time. Mm -hmm. I spend a little bit of time there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we, my wife, I got to say, we are rich. We are family, we are rich. And it's very difficult to think of the cover that is only without a father. Yeah, yeah, it's still difficult. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Okay, then, uh, the career, so out of interest, can you just recite for us a second story from the Quran? Bismillah. How did the Lord in the Shaitan of the Bismillah Rahman? Alhamdulillah, I love the Halloween of my Muslim Marie Yahweh. The Yakama Buddha, the Yakama Station of the Maslatari Mustafa, Slatter, I didn't know how to have him or why he didn't want to be like him or a bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, yeah. So, um, you said you came out this month or last month? I came out this month in my life. Oh, yeah. So, did you find anything to do currently in life? Or no. Did you find any job? Or? No, right now I don't have anything to do because yeah. uh, I lost everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, mashallah. So, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, as we have learned so, from the story of. Uh, uh, we are the Zakaria Mwanza. Uh, this is also a caution to everyone, the general public, and everyone out there not to fall for anything. Because, uh, you know, um, spending time in the prison, the correction of ability is not, is not good as the lawyer said. We ask uh, the general public, and anyone can have um, any support for, to our brother, as you can see. He just came out. And he's got nothing, everything was shattered. He's, uh, he's back to square one now. What, you said how old are you? Yeah, this is, uh, I'm 40. You're 40 years. So he's back to square one. So he needs your support. And um, uh, for any support, in any way you can support, be sure to contact us uh, using the uh, the contact details in the, on, the, on the screen. And also for any contribution, you can use the, the same contact details as the uh, mobile, uh, uh, Airtel mobile, mobile money, and also use the bank uh, the details to do anything that you can uh, feel like it can help our brother. And to be sure also to contact us, and we will be here to, to receive you. Uh, with this um, uh, short talk, Jazak Mullah for your time, Inshallah. and we hope to meet again. With, uh, uh, in another engagement that we'll have uh, with that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.